to you. Welcome back to another California Gold Rush. If you're new to the channel and you don't know what's going on, we've been on the road for a little four months now, traveling around California, prospecting, mining, having a good old time. Me and Petey are on our way down to our favorite spot right now. Before we get started, behind me there's a little bit of a road that you can drive partially down. There's a truck parked way down here. There's really only one spot they could be going. Mosquitoes are bad this morning. Let's go see if they're down at the spot and they happen to be working right where I am. And I have been. Because I've recognized this truck. It's been parked up near where I camp. So let's get down there. And real quick. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of information while they're on our walk down there. You can take a look at this give you a little idea of why I'm working this area and what you guys can do in configuration with trying to find somewhere to work. Um, I'm working a granite right now, a decomp granite. Now most of the bedrock in this area is a very very hard granite. So the eroding granite, gold can be in granite, not just in the quartz veins as well. It could be eroding out of the actual granite. You're going to have lots of black sand and lots of gold, which happens to be like this area that I'm working. We're right near a lot of mines and a bunch of hydraulic mines, and we're right in line with the tertiary channel drift mine that me and Prospector Josh were working in uh, that video. So let's get down there. You guys take a look at that information, and I'll see you down on the river.
more thing before we get down there. Those three leaves and the shininess, that's poison oak. Now I've had poison oak for probably a month straight now. Take a look around. It's down this whole entire trail. It's down the whole entire trail. Everywhere you go. Petey likes to walk right into it for some reason. Trying to keep him on his leash this morning. So you can see he's trying to sniff it right now. Get out of there, dog. Yep, somebody's down here. Get out of there, Petey. Look at both sides of the trail all the way down. Yep, two guys working down here, right in my freaking holes. Found my shovel too. Found uh, who took my shovel, because it's sitting right over here. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed that uh, little bit of information. And I ended up meeting two guys that were down here. They were locals. They've been coming to this spot for a long time. Uh, they were pretty cool, but I could tell that they weren't too excited about me being down here. But, like I said, they were pretty cool. But I got a little bit of information from them as well, about the area. But, I noticed something. I was told that there was nothing on the other side. But, that's the little death cave area that I wanted to go to. And someone's been in there digging. You can see all the sand and the stuff pulled out from underneath the rock. I don't know if that was you, Justin. Might have been. But it's directly in line with this one, which I guess was one of the guy's honey holes. So that's probably why he wasn't too excited, because I had said that I had gotten good gold out of there. But, sorry, buddy. I don't know. I just came down here and started working it. If you're watching. But I'm gonna dig right here today. I was working over there. I'm gonna scoot down a little bit. Alright, so I've been uh, moving rocks out. I got a bunch of small rocks. All those rocks down there came from on top here. I flipped that out. And I took two buckets out of that hole. Just got down to bedrock right there. You can see the bedrock's going uphill here. And then it flattens off and goes back up. So it's a little pocket here. That's bedrock too. So you get a deep drop. I got two buckets run. And the sluice is looking pretty good. It's way over there, so I'm gonna walk over there and show you now. Hey puppy. What are you doing, Petey? Getting some sun? He's a good boy. Oh, he's just such a good puppy. Let's take this off you. There you go. My rocks are still standing. Been up there for a few weeks. And show you why I'm working this area and explain why there's so much gold in that one spot. Now all this bedrock right here looks like it's been cleaned really well but it's actually been torn off by the water pressure. I've explained this before. It comes up and around in that way. Now that bedrock, the decomp bedrock, was sitting on top of this bedrock at one point and it has gold and feldspar and other stuff in it and quartz veins that are bearing gold. Now along this river the whole way at one point it was all on there so this spot 
still had that bedrock on there not long ago. So it's been washing off. And when it's in really high flood, the water comes through on an angle and stuff's dropping off here. And it's getting stuck up over in here. You can see the color of the plants. Those are stained orange leaves from the iron content in the ground. They're the same as those right there. But there's lots of them that have staining on them right there. So the, all the heavy stuff has been coming down and getting stuck here. So there's some really good gold in this boulder line. I'm at the very end of it, right where there's a bedrock pocket. That water feels nice today. Woo. All right, so it got late really quick. I had a couple things to do to get the dig event thing going, make sure we had a good spot to camp, and it got late quick. So I didn't have a chance to clean up the gold 100% from what I did today, but we did a little bit. We didn't have a really long day work-wise, but Justin Big A came down. He ended up bringing me a burger. Gave me a little bit of fuel, so I stayed and did a couple crevices. So I ran two buckets, did a couple crevices, I think maybe two pans crevices. So we'll show you what I got for the gold for today. And uh, I found a piece of quartz. Looks like there's a piece of gold in it. So let's check that out too. Alright, so let's go. First, we'll look at the quartz. Right there in the center of the screen. I'm holding it as still as I can. I gotta hold the light too. So I'll zoom in. It's only a tiny little speck. But that's definitely gold and quartz. Pretty good size piece. It's probably about the size of my hand. So who knows what else is in there. Alright, let's go check the gold out. Alright, you ready? Alright, give me a minute. It's dark out. Look at... You can't see outside my house right now, can you? Give me one second. Jeez, would you hold on? All right, here we go. Let's go to the west wing, to the gold room. What's up, Pete? I didn't make my bed, don't tell my mom. Rather be mine lobbing. Don't tread on me. Hammer baby. H and B. America. Alright, so that's it for today. Um I've never found an anchor before. Which is pretty cool. Let's flip that over. Pretty sure that's what that is. Gold was alright for doing the little bit of work that I did. It's a nice little poker. It stuck to my finger. I was like, oh, where did it go? It's a poker, alright. It came with me. Clanked. 
Alright, so that's it. I'd say, if I had to guess, I'd say it's 0.8. Maybe just under a gram. So the bucket count per gram has gone down. Because I was averaging around 2 grams a day before. Now I can average around a gram, maybe a gram and a half. Sometimes more if I had a back vac, uh, battery powered vacuum or something like that. I could be doing a little bit better. But you can't complain. I mean, when you're getting gold, you're getting gold. As long as it keeps coming, you really can't complain. And I hope some of these little clips here and there of information on why I'm working these areas helps you guys. Uh, you can go on mindat, M-I-N-D-A-T dot com. Type in whatever state you live in. Go to the gold icon in the minerals list. And it'll give you every gold occurrence in your area. And take that. Go to uh, a regular map. Map those areas out. Then go to your bedrock geology map. Map out your bedrock. Then go to your Google Earths. Your Google Terrains. Your Google Satellite. Then you go to your ancestral river maps. Map those all together. You get yourself a little bit of a treasure map going. Alright. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's little short video. Tomorrow I'll be going out with the river chef. Barry. He's coming out to hang out. Get some gold. And then we'll be doing our dig off this weekend. Can you dig it? And also, I've had plenty of people already give answers for the kids giveaway. Alright, you need to give your answer tomorrow night, Thursday, at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, 5 p.m. where I am, wherever that is where you are, is what time you're going to be ready. You gotta put your answer in there. The answer needs to be the river that I was at. Not where I was at. Well, you could do where I was at, but the river. Not the name of the video. Okay? Not till tomorrow at 5. You dig? Alright. Good luck. I gave you guys all a little bit of a clue in the comments. And please, guys, I know there's a lot of people that are asking if their kids can be entered and they're going to do it for them. I don't mind, but as long as we're keeping it honest, guys, I, I want this to go to a, a kid. I understand everybody loves gold. Sometimes people can get a little bit crazy with it. Um, let's just keep it honest. I know there is a few young kids on here that my uh, sons are friends with and... Some other guys back home, their kids might be watching. I really would like a young kid to get some. Alright? So that's it. Petey is already in bed. He is tuckered out. I should get going. So, we'll see you on the next one. California Gold Rush, you dig.